Hi, Ellen, uh, Daytona Beach Hanksters. Today, our special, special guest on the floor is a 1972 Charger. It is not a correct car. It is a 446-pack car, automatic steering, brakes, and air conditioning. The paint on this car, the fit to finish everything, is totally outstanding. It does encompass all of its original sheet metal. It doesn't have to put on quarter panels, doors, fenders, nothing. It's all original tin on this car. It's never been bumped anywhere. It's never had any perforation issues. It's a fantastic car. The paint on this hood is gorgeous, and you can see it matches the fenders just as nice as could possibly be. The hood is fiberglass, and it's a liftoff. It's a lightweight fiberglass hood. It is a open air hood, so it does get a, a, a ram air effect from the uh, uh, the scoop that's on it. Paint, fit, finish, everything on the front of this car is absolutely stunning. 446 pack designation, which is correct for this particular car. Hood pins to hold the hood on. It's a lift-off hood. It does have standoffs, which Rich showed you in the uh, initial photos of the, uh, the engine compartment. And it's just a really, really neat car. Beautiful chrome on it. Even the piece of chrome that fit on the original hood across the front lines up just as nice as can be. Chrome on the front bumper is fantastic. It's got peekaboo headlights on it, which are really, really a great looking feature on this car. Chrome bumper S with the rubber extensions on them. The car is just absolutely stunning. The fit, the finish, everything about this car is, is a, it's just a great car. I love this thing. It's a nice color. It's a nice combination. Great car. Okay, let's go down to the driver's side and see what we can find on this thing. We're looking for dents, irregularities, fitment, stone chips, anything that we can find to point out to you so that you're aware of what's on this vehicle prior to you receiving it. A lot of the stuff we're going to fix prior to us shipping it, but we're just going to go over it the first time here so you know what we find. Front side marker light, just as nice and bright as can be. You can see the paint on this car is just stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. Fender lip, little tiny mark there. You never see it, but I can barely feel it, but it's there. Paint on the uh, fender, the fitment to the door is absolutely beautiful. You cannot see any deviation whatsoever. Um, correct arms, aftermarket blades on the wipers. Trim around the windshield is just beautiful. No marks, no dents. Tinted glass in the front window and the side windows also. Door, the paint is the same as the other the front part of this car. No marks, no dents, no chips, absolutely nothing. Chrome on the door handle, as sweet as can possibly be. Drip rail molds, no marks at all, none. Chrome mirrors on this one, both sides, right and left, so you do have dual mirrors on this vehicle. The wipes, whiskers, whatever you want to call, are brand spanking new. Window fitment as tight as can be. Quarter panel to the door, door to the quarter panel. Really, really nice fit. Rocker panel molding, nice alignment. No marks or no dents in it. Charger designation. No dings, no marks whatsoever on the roof. There's absolutely no imperfections in the paint. Looking across the roof on this half. I don't see anything so far in this car, nothing. We're almost done and I still haven't found anything. Trim around the uh, rear window, no marks whatsoever on this side, absolutely none. Rear wheel molding, zero, absolutely none. Quarter panel the same way, marker light, nice and bright and shiny and clean. Krager SS wheels on this car really give it a jumping look to it. It's a wheel that you would have probably put on this car in 1972 had you purchased it new. You would have taken off the original ones and put the Krager SS's on it. They were an iconic wheel in their day and still are today. Let's see if we can find something on the back. Okay, around the back of our uh, 72 Charger 446 pack car, you can see, you can see this. The uh, fitment of the uh, deck lid, both sides, is about an eighth of an inch. A little bit more than that on the back part to give you a little bit of clearance whenever you open it up. Tinted rear window in this vehicle, the correct black striping in the back, 
Back bumper is a foot deep with chrome, just like the front one. Rear Valance doesn't have any pulls or anything on it. You can see two turned down exhaust. Rear uh, tail lights and uh, backup lights, just as smooth and clean as can be. No marks, no, no uh, cracks whatsoever in them. Bumperettes with the rubbers, not cut or marked in any way, either side. Back end of this car is just totally flawless like the rest of it. Everything lines up. Paint, I haven't found a stone chip yet. We're still looking though. Okay, up the uh, passenger side of our 446 pack charger. Again, absolutely no dents or marks on the quarter panel. Side marker light, the same as the other uh, two so far, not a mark. Around the rear window, no marks whatsoever in the uh, stainless molding. It fits nice and flush as it should. Rear defroster on this car, I just noticed that. The hat rack appears to be the original type hat rack, black, um, just absolutely perfect. There's no marks or, or fading or anything with it, just as nice as could be. No marks on this uh, wheel lip molding. Charger designation again. Order the door, no issues whatsoever. Across the roof, the same as the other side. Just laser, laser straight. No marks, no chips, no dings, no nothing to report. Drip molding, same as the other side, absolutely nothing. Wipes on the rear and the front, brand spanking new like the other side. Again, right hand mirror, I love those. Door handle, chrome is New. It's just like it was when it left the factory. Gorgeous as could be. No marks on the uh, trim around this side either on the uh, uh, front windshield. Door to the uh, front fender. Don't feel anything at all. No dents, no chips. Front wheel lip molding, same way. No marks. Nice and shiny and smooth. Forgot to mention. Fender mounted turn signal indicators also that are functional for 46 pack designation. What a great car. It's a 1972 Charger with a 446 pack steering brakes, air, automatic, black interior, red car, Krager SS's, no chips, no dents, no marks. And it's very, very reasonably priced. Look at the Hangsters website. You'll see it here in Daytona Beach, Florida. And it's going to be a, a lot of fun for you to play with this summer. Okay, we're in our 1972 uh, Charger 446 pack. Absolutely fantastic vehicle. Interior is replacement, but it is absolutely like new. Nice full padding in it where there's no sag in the seats or anything. Front and back seats. Match perfectly, original style, headrests in it, the um, sun visors, the original ones, and they have no marks or anything on them. The headliner's original, even the sides where most of them deteriorate. This is absolutely flawless in this car. No cracks in the steering wheel. Dodge uh, trident here on the uh, steering wheel. Um, wood grain throughout this thing, it is a deluxe vehicle. Door panels are flawless, both left and right you can see you'll see through uh, Rich's still photos but in the videos also that he's shooting right now you can see that the, the wood grain the, the the fitment of the door panels everything on his car is top shelf the vents aren't broken or chipped or anything in the dashboard for the uh, air conditioning this particular car has full instrumentation on it speedometer tachometer all the gauges and it does have a trio of auxiliary gauges under the dash although these still function. The car runs and drives and handles like a brand spanking new car. There's not one thing that you can uh, de detract from the, the uh, appeal of this vehicle. Other than, I found one thing on the vehicle after looking for the last half hour. There's one little tiny crack here on the padded dash just from age. It's a hairline crack. I, can, I can't get my fingernail in it here toward the speaker uh, grill, I can. So it gives you an idea how small, how minuscule that little crack is. Certainly nothing that would dictate you to replace the uh, padded dash in this car. Car is just an exemplary 1972 446 pack red charger. Fantastic car. All right, Hangsters.
Daytona Beach, Florida. Check this guy out. 1972 Charger. One of the best colors you could possibly get. Tor Red. Really a bright looking car. What's really neat about this car is what it is, but what it isn't. It is not a correct car in any way, but what it is is a 446 pack with power steering, power brakes, aftermarket air conditioning, the biggest, fattest, it has to be a five pass, five row aluminum radiator that I've ever seen, a huge condenser on the front of this thing. Electronic ignition, new battery, new hoses, New wires, new everything underneath this, and it's a 446 pack in a 1972 Charger. What a great vehicle to drive. Tons of horsepower in this puppy. Hi, we're underneath our 1972 Charger at Hangster's South Daytona Beach, Florida. This car's totally amazing. I mean, it's amazing on top, the engine compartment, the, the entire vehicle is amazing. When you get underneath this thing, you can really appreciate what it is. Has power disc brakes in the front, new calipers, new rotors, uh, new sway bar links, heavy duty sway bar, 440 engine, appears to be a 1970 because it does have a different dampener on it, so it has to have your rods in it apparently anyway, according to the indication of the dampener on it. No leaks on this engine whatsoever, no leaks on the bell housing area, B&M deep pan for the 727 torque flight that's on this vehicle. High rod ends are all as new, nice and tight. Steering link, pitman arm, everything is, is just nice and fresh looking. Everything is nice and new. Long tube headers on this particular vehicle. To give you an idea how much care the, the person that uh, assembled this car took, they even put the uh, stainless steel mesh encapsulated bellows type sections in here so that it helps with no crackage on the uh, exhaust manifolds, uh, the headers, uh, or the pipes. Uh, a great addition to this car. Subframes in the front are absolutely gorgeous. I don't see a single mark on them anywhere. Absolutely none. Crossover uh, structure that goes from the uh, rear of each subframe. Um, no marks, no jack marks, no nothing on it. Parking brake assembly original and still functional. Floor pans in this vehicle have never been replaced. Never. They are the original pans. The pinch wells are still indicative on the uh, uh, drop downs that go to the rocker panels. New drive shaft. Looks like someone completely reconditioned it. New U-joint front and rear. Floor pans toward the back just absolutely undisturbed. No marks, no jack-up marks or anything on them. Crossover pipe, which you'll see in a second here uh, in our video, where the uh, appears to be about a two and a quarter inch exhaust on this, has an X-type pipe that gives it a crossover so that you're using both mufflers to, to feed the uh, exhaust on this thing. Um, helps at about 10-15 horsepower and a lot in the mid-range torque. Okay, second half of our car. Still looking for something. We haven't found any uh, any issues yet? Pans in the back. Here's our X-pipe that we talked about just a few minutes ago. Two Flowmaster style mufflers, brand spanking new. Two and a quarter inch pipes going out through the rear also. Multi-leaf uh, rear suspension on this car. Drums in the back, discs in the front. Torque boxes don't have any marks on them. The subframes, one little tiny jack mark right here. Just a little tiny pimple dent. That's it. Certainly nothing to hurt the integrity of the uh, uh, subframes on this car. Another little tiny one right here. Again, someone put a jack stand there and uh, didn't do it properly. But again, nothing to uh, uh, disrupt the uh, integrity of the vehicle. Heavy duty, eight and three quarter inch rear on this car with an added aftermarket sway bar in the back of it. It does have pause attraction. There are two big black marks right out in the parking lot here coming onto the ramp that uh, show that it does have pausing in this unit. Drop downs in the quarters are just the way they were when they were new. The tabs are still evident on both sides. As I stated, the original quarters on this car, no one put aftermarket quarter panels on this car or ever, ever did any body work on a car. It's all original tin that came with the car. Gas tanks original, no marks or dents in it. 
subframes in the back. Uh, there's not a single mark anywhere on them. This car is as straight and original and nice underneath as it is when we did our walk around uh, the vehicle and the interior and the engine compartment. The car is absolutely stunning underneath. You'll not find a nicer 1972 Dodge Charger on the market anywhere than here at Hangsters.